Querying databases via phpMyAdmin. This tutorial will show you how to query a database for records via phpMyAdmin. For this tutorial, we are connected to phpMyAdmin using the root MySQL user. When connecting as another user, some options may be disabled, dependent on the server's configuration and the specific privileges granted to the user by the system administrator. On systems configured to use Plesk, the master MySQL user is the admin user instead of root. On Linux-based systems, database names, database users, table names, and column names are case-sensitive, whereas on Windows-based systems, these names are case-sensitive. First, let's select a database. Click the database name. Other users will only be able to view and access databases that they have been given privileges to. Many systems are configured with control panel software installed used to delegate the administration of the accounts on the server. Whenever possible, it is recommended that you use the controls within the control panel itself for certain tasks, such as the creation of databases, creation of users, management of user privileges, etc., instead of phpMyAdmin. Performing these tasks outside of the control panel can produce undesirable results in the operation of the control panel software. Now let's look at the generic search options. Click the search tab. Enter the values for the query. Select the option that best applies. Select the tables to query. Hold the control key to select multiple tables. Click the Go button. Click the Browse link. Next, let's look at the search options from the table menu. Click the Search tab. The Table Search menu gives us two ways to submit a query. Let's use the first one to submit a query. Here we can select which fields are returned in our search. Here we can select a field to use for ordering any returned records. If no ordering criteria is specified, records are returned according to the order that they're stored in the database, which coincides with the order that they were entered. Enter the additional conditions. Click the Go button. Now let's use the other method. Click the Search tab. Select an operator. There are several different operators you can choose to use when you query for records by field. Enter the value. Click the Go button. Next, let's go back to the database level and look at another way to issue queries. Click the database name.
Click the Query tab. These options control how many choices we have in constructing our query. This option can be used to change the number of options used to construct the WHERE clause by adding or removing rows to or from the form here. This option can be used to change the number of options used to construct the query by adding or removing columns to or from the form. Click the Update Query button. These options can also be used to insert or delete rows of options used to construct the WHERE clause. These options can also be used to insert or delete columns of options from the form. Click the Update Query button. Now let's construct our query. If we had multiple tables in our database, we could select which tables we wanted to use in constructing the query here. Select a field. If we wanted to return values from all fields in our query, we could use the wildcard value, star, instead of selecting each field individually. Select a sort option based on this field, if any. Since we want to return values from this field, we will check this checkbox. If we were using this field just to construct the WHERE clause, we would leave it unchecked. Enter the criteria. Here we can change the operator used between the first expression in the WHERE clause and the second. Enter the criteria for the second expression. Now let's take a look at our query so far. Click the Update Query button. This interface constructs the query with a reference to the table name along with the column name in order to support queries that join values across multiple tables. If you're constructing a query that only uses one table, these references can be omitted. Now let's enter the information for our next field. We're not going to use any expressions based off of this field in our WHERE clause, so we will leave these values blank. Next, we will be adding a value based off of a different field to our WHERE clause in the next column. Let's change the operator that will be between the two expressions. Now, let's enter the information for our third field. Since we're only using this field in our WHERE clause and not returning values from it, we are leaving this checkbox unchecked. Enter the criteria. Enter the criteria for the next expression. Click the Update Query button.
Here we could manually customize the query further if we wanted. Let's submit the query. Click the Submit Query button. Now let's submit a query by entering the SQL statement manually. Click the SQL tab. PHP MyAdmin has automatically populated the text area with a basic query that we can modify. Since we are using the SQL menu for a particular table, PHP MyAdmin gives us the option to use this interface to add references to our fields instead of having to manually type them. Select the fields. Hold the Control key to select additional fields. Click the Add to Query button. The semicolon delimiter will automatically be added to the end of the statement so it can be omitted. It must also be included to separate multiple statements, so it is considered good practice to enter it manually at the end of each statement, just as you would if you were entering the commands from the shell. Click the Go button. Now let's go back to the database menu. Click the database name. Click the SQL tab. Queries can be submitted from here as well, but you do not have the field selector option or click the SQL button. This interface can be launched from anywhere in PHP MyAdmin. If this interface is launched from the main menu where no database is selected, instead of referencing just the table name as we have done here, you will need to include the absolute reference to the database in the query. For example, this query would be written like this instead. Click the Go button. For more information on writing queries using SELECT, consult the following URL. Congratulations! You now know how to query a database for records via PHP MyAdmin.